My name is Dr. Julia Nitz. I'm a lecturer for American Studies at the University of Halle-Wittenberg. And the project I was talking about here at the conference um, was dealing with photographs, 19th century photographs of African Americans and the way they are used in photographic histories on the American Civil War that raged between 1861 and 1865. What I'm doing is I'm tracing the origin of the photographs um, to see in what way they were adapted by different photographers for photographic histories. And the three works I was looking at were Alexander Gardner's sketchbook of the war that was published right after the war in 1866. Secondly, I looked at Francis Trevelyan Miller's photographic history of the war in 10 volumes published in 1911. And finally, I was looking at a 11-hour TV miniseries by Ken Burns that was first broadcast in 1919 and called The Civil War. Um, to give you an example of the photographs I'm looking at, I'd like to show you um, one that is called a burial party. This photograph first occurred in Alexander Gardner's sketchbook of the war in 1866. And the story about the photograph is that often after a battle, the soldiers were left unburied because the army moved on. And often months or years later, the remains of the soldiers were collected and buried. And here is a specific story told by Gardner that someone took up a skull and shook it and there was a rattling sound and it turned to be a glass eye. So that is the way the photograph is represented in Gardner. There is no mention of the black man. However, in Ken Burns, about 130 years later, he takes a close-up of the black man in the skull and thereby created a very effective metaphor, a symbol of the white soldiers dying for the black man. So this is an example of how a picture is used at different periods of times to create a specific message of the role of African Americans in the Civil War. And that was the main idea of my project. <laughs>